Okay, everybody, I know this is a little bit of a new thing, uh, doing a Let's Play, but I saw this game, it reminded me of a different game, and I thought we would all enjoy it. Now, I will say, this is the second time I've had to record this, because the first time I did this, it was corrupted, so I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said uh, previously, I have played a little bit of this because I had I had a recording prior ready. But well, 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 if it isn't the fly kitty, are you talking to me? Well, I don't see any other small cats usually flacking in this enclosure over there. It was you. I'm so sorry. It was an accident, you see. An accident. Eh? Sounds like you need more flying practice. But I can't actually fly, and I never will without that. Dude. Come on, just flap your wings and follow me. And he's gone. Bonk. Bonk. Become an artist. Okay. Hmm. done yet. I gotta get white. Huh? Oh yeah, I forgot. We can you can lose it. This game is very fucking cute, very pretty as well. And we got soccer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Smack. No, fuck. No. No. <laughs> Sir. Zoomies. I am Because you know this cat could fit through that without doing that. Let's see what happens when we are looking here. Okay, touch the water. You don't like it. Okay, <laughs> Dog! <laughs> Found the crow! <laughs> Honestly, those dogs think they own the street. So, there you are. What took you so long? You're afraid to flap your wings? I don't have wings. What? How are we flying? I wasn't. I was falling. I fell off my window spot, and now I'm all the way down here. But if you can't fly, how are you planning to get back up there? 
how we're alive is a miracle. I'm going to quite pick one here. Let me try to think. I've got it. How about the inferior flying it that you, you bring this creature to with the huffing and the puffing and the claws? Do you mean climbing? That's what I said. I'm not sure I have the energy for climbing. I was already getting hungry when I fell. So if a friendly neighborhood crow happened to have a lovely use of fish, really? Then this brings us to familiar crow territory. Supply and demand! I can spoil you one yummy fish full of energy, and I will demand 25 shinies. It's a shiny. You must know what shinies are. They're the gleaming doodads you find hidden everywhere in bushes, on ledges, sometimes under traffic codes. And they're valuable. Valuable. They're priceless. Should I get 25 for 25? Did I say priceless? I'm in worthless, dangerous, even to everyone, to, to everyone except crows. In fact, they shouldn't be lying around the city like this. They could hurt somebody. So if you collect 25 shinies, I'll be able to dispose of them very responsibly. And we will be heroes. And then I get a fish. Sure. I'm on it. Alright, let's get... I can't climb them. Ooh, what's this? I actually didn't know how to get up here on the previous one. <laughs> Let's put on the lady blanket. It's adorable. Oh, the big yarn. Let's find more shinies. Have you seen the seed birds? I've never seen them so close before, not with no class in the way. Ah, an indoor cat. That explains it. Can I get even closer to them? You can, yes. In fact, you can even hold them. The trick is to L1 sneak up near. Ma late man, man. Can you, can you please not run into me? Ow! You. What the hell? I was sitting here first! And then you pounce. Take your advice for us. All the best pouncing does a little one, but they are quite cautious, certainly cautious enough to avoid a little cat. That said, I suppose there's always the bread proposition. Bread proposition. The bread proposition. It works as follows. One, obtain bread. Two, use bread as bait for birds. And three, pounce. Ah, okay, got it. Bread plus birds equals catch it. But, um, do you have any bread I could borrow? Alas, no. Bread comes from humans, not cats. It's in the pockets, in the briefcases, even clutched in their hands. To make it theirs. Temporarily, but it can be yours. You if you master the art of getting underfoot. The art of just L2, R2, swipe at their feet when they walk. When they trip, the bread will fall. Thank you for the advice. Let's do this. Really? Let's get this bird. Why is everything so difficult? There we go. Attack! Got it.
So I am going to metagame a little bit, guys, uh, because I do need three of these feathers, minimum. And I'll show you why in just a second. He is, I love this guy. <gasps> Nearly got it. Just a little more. Uh, yes! I, to get out of here. It. Oh, are we okay in there? Until a moment ago, yes. It was easy to get in, so I assumed it'd be exactly as easy to get out. Would you like some help? Let me try one more thing. I'm ready to be helped now, please. If I push him right here, can you pull me? Rescue the blank from the pipe. Ah, yes, the raccoon. Thank you. What, what were you doing in there? I was looking for feathers for my new invention, and I saw a glit and some glittering in the pipe. I assumed it must be the famous in in inverted collector's edition Gekku commemorative medallion, and well, I would. A what? <laughs> the, the famous invented, inverted collector's edition Gekku commemorative medallion. Why did you want the imported collected ge collecting Gekku thing? Those medallions are the ones with the weird air that makes Gekku look like a weird sea monster. Exposed to nuclear radiation, so I have a big gecko. Exposed to nuclear radiation. They're worth a fortune, but it turned out to be a normal shiny, and then I got stuck. You want it? Please. Yeah. That's another reason I can't do him, is because I know he gives me a free shiny. Did you say you were an inventor? I did. I love to solve problems. I mean, let's even say I have to make new problems just so I can solve them. How rude. We know it's comfy when they say, oh dear, this will take some getting used to, or Tanuki, you really shouldn't have, or I didn't know a raccoon could disrupt this much space time. Actually, that one, that last one was pretty rude. I'm very clearly a Tanuki, not a raccoon. Tanuki. What, what's a raccoon? It's like a little bear fox with a long stripy tail. Apparently some people think they look like a tanuki, but I can't see it myself. Who are working on now? Ah, yes, it's all big exciting. In fact, that's why I needed that. Wait, do you smell feathers? What's a feather you smell? You have feathers somewhere about your, about your I know, although goodness knows where you're keeping them. Please? I knew it. Oh, how exciting. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I forgot my name. Please gimme. Yeah, sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, do you want to see a cool invention that distorts space-time? Behold, the magic of engineering! <laughs> New portal, huh? Guess where it goes. Not anymore. That flash of swirling glow isn't just super vapors. It's magic! And that means it's not part of the pet world. Do you mean the network? No, I do not. It is a network, but it's for you, the pet. Where does it go? Well, this is proof of concept, so it actually only goes over there. But that still bypasses this fin, so you should not hold back on your admiration. Hop in. Yeet! Let me know if it works. What do you mean? Wait, what? Ta da. I said ta da! Is that my kid? Wait, where are you? Oh, well, it's completely dark. It smells exciting. Does that sound like a place? Completely dark. Uh oh, let me consult my feedback questionnaire. Okay, here we go. Uh, is Tessa in possession of own eyeballs? Why would I not have my eyes? I'll take that as a yes. Uh, is Tessa subject in possession of all necessary limbs? What are unnecessary limbs? Seems like, uh, 
The test subject is apparently uncooperated. Why don't you try moving around so we can see if it's an animal attack? You landed in the trash. Why do you say so that way? The trash pot's the smell is familiar. This is very exciting. It means the pet work works. I just need more time to. I need to fine time the arrival system. Over. Let me know when you've done that, and I'll hop in and come back. Come back. Come back. You know, the return journey. The return. What? The bit where I come back to the first portal to Nuki. Fascinating. Yes, uh, I can see how that would be useful, especially with how you're now on the other side of an unclimbable fence and everything. Tell you what, I'll get to work on the return journey and you can go explore. How long do you think it will take? I find that there are fewer re re recriminations when I do not. When I do not to commit to deadlines. Okay, I'll be in touch when the improvements are ready for a test subject or a lab assistant. Bye. Alrighty. Alrighty, Mr. Tanuki. Let's talk to this. Oh no 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 no. Are you okay? Or do I look okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to snap. That's okay, something happened. I made a big mistake. Big huge lol. <laughs> lol. <laughs> well it helped it. It helps it maybe, but it feels so too huge for such a small tea to help wish. I mean as mistakes are this is even bigger than the great hashtag shadow ban catastrophe of twenty twenty one. The what the out of when? Because how can I be expected to run a hashtag effective hashtag tafty takeover on social media without a broken phone? It's a phone. It's the thing next to me. Oh, my human has one of those. They're both goofy, yeah. So is mine usually. I dropped it in what's the concrete lol. It just L lol means yeah, it just means laughing out loud, but but you weren't laughing at all, you were sad. Uh, but if I say lol when I'm sad, you can't tell I'm sad, or at least that was the idea. Lol. I see. Okay. Uh, and dropping the phone thing is why you're upset? Yes, I need it for work. Taffy's gonna fire me for sure if I don't fix it. Who's Taffy? She's she's kind of my boss, or she would be if I was being paid. She's an icon, a phenomenon, a nightmare. I, th I think Furby's magazine called her the fluffiest billionaire on the internet. Fluffy nightmare. Wait, is Taffy a cat? No, Taffy is the cat. Oh, that's God. That, that's her up there. I don't like those cats. I don't. Oh no, I see her. My my human's felt thingy. She has the coolest house and the best outfits and the fluffiest fur. I picked those outfits and I styled that fur. In fact, I was just looking for inspiration while I dropped the phone. No phone means no internet, and no internet means no new Taffy content for her fans. But that's dreadful news. We have to fix it. Let me think. I know. I will get you a new phone. You can do that. I think so. Humans have at least one phone thingy. Each, so let's just borrow one. They love Taffy, so they'll be delighted to help. Wait right here, Beth Beetle. I'll be back with the phone in no time. Lol. Lamau. Thanks. <laughs> We're gonna go this way so I can grab my shinies first. Because we need. With some more shinies. Which means the doge. Mm, 
out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Leave me alone. Frank. Da damn. Legendary. I think this is the one I want. Or corn dogs are over his time for the cat corn cats. I don't know if we're gonna need any more birds, but if I have the option. When in Rome, you just watch me pounce on your buddy, but I, I suppose you can just sit there. I am speed. Oh, I am. Get juked. She has a phone. Get it. Lost your phone. Should have been holding it on. Should have been holding on to it. Okay, there may be a crack in it now, but you know, it was there before I got, it. before I got it. I promise. You did it. Thank you so much. Do you want the old one? It's still got space. You just can't do emailing, right? Emailing. You don't do emailing? I don't think so. So, you've never been CC'd or heard the phrase per my last message. Nope, although I do per all my messages now that I come to think about it. What an absolute blissful life you must leave, kitty. Anyways, here's your phone. Concrete drip phone. A concrete drip phone? It might be smart, not smart anymore, but the camera still works. In fact, you should take a celebratory selfie right now. Bring up the. Still need shinies. Can I pull this? I can't do anything with that. Uh, uh, uh. 
No, you don't. Help the mayor get some sleep. Who the hell's the mayor? This one would be a nuisance. I, I'm gonna laugh at this. Is the mayor. I never talked to this guy. Excuse me. No. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. No, I'm, I'm not. Oh, he is the mayor! <laughs> the mayor can't help you, no one can. Thank goodness I found you. You see, your worship, I need to get home, and I need shinies, and there are all these trash cans, and uh, one thing at a time, friend. This sounds like a, like work. Cats are not built for work. Cats are built for mischief and snoring. We are soft, sleepy. Sometimes there is a whimsy. Sometimes there is pushing things onto the floor. Yes, but uh, enthusiasm is tiring. The mayor cannot help anyone when sleepy. I didn't mean to. So you must help the mayor. Gee. At nap time, it is only right and proper. I, your first responsibility as deputy mayor will be the hated jars of jam. Remove these eyesores from the mayor's vision. But it's just jam. It is a symbol, a symbol that a human no longer fears a cat. They leave their glass jars on shelves and expect them to stay there. It cannot continue. I guess that makes sense. But when you say remove them, swipe, push, crash, mur. Mur the breaking of the jars will be a lullaby for you, poor, your poor mayor. And then you'll help me. The mayor cannot hear you over the a symbolic jam. Perfect. The mayor can now slumber. Well, before you do, your grace, you said you could help. Uh, yes, the mayor will now dispense valuable assistance. Thank you for helping me. I will teach the official way to respond to jam jars. Wait, what? Oh, or anything else that is terrible. Voila. What is that? This is the yuck face. My yuck face. You may now expect to discuss it anyone by holding triangle. <laughs> Where is no need for your graduate little deputy? Oh, sorry. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. And now the mayor must rest. So sleepy. He's only able to further request for help. But. Almost done getting enough shinies for the crow. Let's bask. Let's take a nap. Alright, let's wake up because we got business to attend to. I forgot you were here. Hi. Hello. Are you talking to me? Of course. You can see me. Uh, yes? Astonishing. I've never met anyone who can see through my computer camera. Of course, does this mean my power is fading? Power, are you a magician? Indeed. In fact, if you can see me, you may be able to see the magician's hat I wear. Right. That's our other magician's own shoulder in the area, so they can see you too. Absolutely not. I'm invisible to all, that's why I'm rather surprised to be noticed by you. For example, I'm so good at disguising myself that I can even make my words disappear. Watch this. See that? No, you didn't, because the power words are totally camouflaged. Because you didn't say anything. Huh, that's pretty cool. It's not. Thank you. It's a huge effect. But if you can't master it, if you're a master of camouflage, heck, must you quite. Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. What's wrong with my eyes? Have you seen them? No, I can't see my eyes. Well, I can, I can see the eyes of the cat, but the cat can't see the eyes of the cat. I don't think I can. You'll just have to tell me. Well, for a start, you're in front of your face. That's weird. It is. And they don't seem to stick out all. So I'm trying to start picking a valuable brain. Maybe I use my eyes for Thank you. Sorry about that. Can you at least move them in different directions at the same time? I don't think so. Should I be worried, do you think? I couldn't say. I'm just not a vet. However, you're, if your weird figure eyes are truly new to my vanishing act, then I have finally met a worthy opponent. Wait, what? 
I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. I will don new disguises, practice new tricks, engage in the noble art of self-improvement. I don't want you to change on my account. Ah, oh, sweet kitty, so weird, so small, so wrong. No, to restore my reputation as the world's most concealed creature, I must change. It's the only way to defeat your weird eyes. When I say you want to defeat my eyes, I challenge you to find me again, cat. Here? No, I shall leave this place while I adjust my technique. Then I shall reappear somewhere else. Obviously, I'll be almost impossible to detect, so I will leave you with a clue to my general location. Ahem. There's a place where hard hats shine, where concrete pours and diggers whine. I'll be camouflaged nearby, invisible to your weird eye. Is do you mean eyes? Have you ever heard of a poetic license? Yes. Well, I have one. I'm not freaking you. Anyway, good luck finally. He's at the freaking construction site. Once we're, we're, we're just gonna... You know, we'll, we'll stop by the construction site real quick. What's this? Ah, the apple hat. Give me a stick of corn. Let's... let's see. I know, the, the crow is right over there, but I want to... Because I never found him. Not that I didn't try. It's just I. Well, I. I didn't try, honestly. We know he's over here. Let's, let's, see, if, let's see if we can find him real quick and then we'll go do the shinies. So, where. over here or is he actually like hidden now he actually may be hidden nope Beale storyline's done Is he this area? No, no, he's not. So he has to be in here. But where is he hiding? He actually has a good hiding spot. I'll come back to this later then. Maybe we have to actually unlock something different. Like some enhanced eyes. Alright. If you guys remember, the purple goal. This way. No, 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 Really? I suppose actually that helped. That did help. That, thank you, ma'am.
Okay, let's go, uh, let's go get, trade in our shinies. Ah, water. Trade in all the shinies, shinies, shinies. And then trade in all the shinies. Trade in our shinies. Are all these shinies? Yes. So, okay, we're down to zero. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So shinies so are pretty, so effective. Who's a pretty pro? Are you disposing of them responsibly? Yes. And with that, we have to complete our first heroic act together. Can I try disposing of them? Uh, definitely not. These are ancient pro rituals. Well, do I get my reward? Your oh yes, your reward. Did I see that fish? Uh, just a minute. And he flies th through the interstate. Wait, girl, was this a scam? Did I get I think... Where did he go? <laughs> That's rude. Here. Fish! This should give you some climbing here. I don't have to get all the way home, but... Start... Where would I start climbing? There. We're going to need more fish to make it all the way to the top. Do you have any more? Not right now, but I've seen them elsewhere. It's a you just keep your eyes open and you'll find them. Thank you. No worries. Enjoy the fish. Oh, and keep a hold of any shinies you find out there. I've just had an idea. In. The fish is dead. Well, it was already dead, but you know. I finally, keep it. I finally have climbing ability. So, okay, let's test the climbing uh, real quick. And I pulled into a duck. I think a duck. Oh, hello there. I wonder if you can provide some. Uh, I think it depends on the problem. Uh, uh, oh, I see. Quite right. Right. Uh, I don't want to alarm you. Yeah, it's rather a pressing concern. Although perhaps it's. I'm, I'm just panicking. But there's no two ways about it. Uh, what about? Oh, didn't I say I seem to have mislaid my duck? Mislaid? Is this a bird joke? No, I don't follow. It. No, I'm missing duck. Can sound pretty serious. It does. It doesn't it? What happened? Well, we were all enjoying an educational tour of the neighborhood, me teaching the youngsters some local history, etc. For example, you know the robot statue in the park behind us? Uh, did the robot take the ducklings? Oh dear me, no. That would have been rather out of character. You see, the robot is quite fascinating, not a statue in the Not a statue in the traditional sense either. Legend has it that a wise duck, not dissimilar from myself in fact, would visit this park every day with his robot friend. Very loyal robots delight with back. Back then, this was a lake. Hulking great wit. Great wet thing where the pair would swim. Splashing and frolicking, you know, this sort of thing, but robots in water, eh? Eh? All the fizzing and sputtering, not patico at all. Rust patches with circuitry exploding these. The robot, not the duck, I mean. The robot's swimming days were over terribly sad stuff, so he asked the duck to change his program. It quite the feet, if you ask me. Could never get my head around computers myself. Uh, the duck helped the program the robot to wait in the playground while the duck swam. Grand idea. That and it, it went beautifully. But, one fine day, probably much like this one, truth be told, the duck was attacked by a radioactive monster. Wait, a monster? A ge Geku. Usually Geku is our protector. You know, breathing fire, saving orphans, clarity galas, or sorry, charity galas. Lovely chap, apart from the rampages, really. Rampages? Oh, yes, humans write those up in little paper documentaries. Very engaging. Paper documentaries. Do you eat comics? So, Deku kidnaps the duck and keeps the He throws him through a stalwart portal, which Quack can never be seen again. And the thing we mistake for a statue in the playground is actually the lower robot, waiting patiently for his friend to return from his swim. Uh, are you saying that. Geku has kidnapped your children. Oh no, it's just a great story. I shared it with my duck before we split, but find more neighborhood stories for our little show and tell session. Show and tell, that sounds fun. Eh. Oh yes, I thought so. Anyway, we scampered off in different directions, all very exciting in the moment, but ha, ah, and I suppose this is the crux of the matter, really. I didn't set a time or place for us to reconvene. Aha. Uh, wasn't sure what to do for the best. Not really practical duck to see, but I didn't want us to be rushing around missing one another. Dreadful. When that happened, so I retracted my steps back here and waited. No luck, alas, no, but you seem like a practical sort of cat, very resourceful. So could we team up? I'll keep watch here. I've been kind of enjoying it, really. And you just got the city? No, the whole city. It seems pretty big. Hmm, you're right. There must be a way for us to narrow down our search. Eureka! We made a city map just last week. Marvelous thing, part of our project to catalog all the different fish hotspots in the city. The ducklings marked each one of their favorite places on them, too. Such enthusiasm for maps. And I bet there's that's where they will have gone. 
Here, you take it. My orienteering skills are dreadful, but you'll be able to track them down in time. I'm not made of the by that point. It's just a fish mark. Just can't see what interest. I don't think I will. I don't think I will buy into a scooby. Tanuki! I, I didn't. What the fuck are you? I didn't even know you were there. Hello, Tup. I see you lost him. I managed to get the pet work for this character to properly. That was quick. It would have been even quicker, but there was this minor space time incident. Nothing to worry about, though. How minor? In the grand scheme of the multiverse, is absolutely trivial. Just a teeny tiny set of water pipe explosions that fell out of the future in the other universe and into the recent past of this universe. Hang on a moment. Is that where all this water came from? It turns out I've been using linear space time. I should have been using quadratic space time. Laughable, really. You want to try it out? It's really cool, and I need a test uh, friend. This, <laughs> this drastic space time is safe for now, isn't it? Quadratic space time, although now you mentioned it, drastic space time could be very interesting too. Or either of them safe? I assume so. Anyway, if we get this working, we can use it to fast travel around the city. In that case, sign me up. Don't say no. Just hear me out. But I said yes. Firstly, there. Are, wait, what? I said yes, for real. Call me curious. Yay, this is ex so exciting. You won't regret it. Do you need feathers again? Not this time. Your first journey was so short that I had leftovers. I hopped in. I'm going, it's going to work this time. I'm 100% sure. Give or take. Oh, damn. What? Where that? No, 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 that's a dog. You came back, I thought I'd scare you off when I jumped at the, at the window. That was you good. You did give me a bit of a fright. Sorry, sorry, I just get so excited when people come to visit. You're a dog, right? Only the best is best, is best good as dog, my human says so. It's nice to meet you properly. I didn't know, know there was an official best is best dog title. Ah, you may know me by my other accolade. Perhaps the squishiest, smushiest potato. Or the fuzziest, happiest little pooper. But wait, my owner told me that I was the squishy smoothie. Are you sure? Certain. I remember because she said it several times while smushing my tummy with her nose. Gosh, that one must have multiple animal categories then. It's a pleasure to meet a fellow potato. <laughs> Likewise. Anyway, it was lovely chat. I hope you have a good day. I'm oh, Doug There's this thing that happened. Can you help me, little potato? What do you need help with? I've lost my balls. But I can't help with that. My tennis balls. Are, okay, your tennis balls. I can help with that. Come through and I'll show you. I'll, I'll, I'll just go around. <laughs> Look, no balls. I appreciate this might be a silly question, but aren't they behind you? What? Oh, those? No, those are my just my regular favorite tennis balls. I'm talking about my extra special favorite, favorite tennis balls. They're very different. What happened to them? Oh, well, you see, Tanuki built me a present. Ah, uh, let me guess. There was an incident of some sort. No, not to start with. It was so cool. You could put tennis balls in, it would throw them for me when I, while my owner was at work. That sounds really nice. It was perfect but for a while, but um, it also did go rogue one day. Balls everywhere, and they caught on fire a tiny bit. I've got most of them back, but my three favorite favorite favorites are still missing. And the machine, I buried it, but please don't tell Tanuki. She would be so sad. Um, and also, please, 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 can you help me find my favorite balls? I'd be so grateful. Sure, but how will I know if they're your favorites? Don't all tennis balls look the same? Absolutely not. Each one is subtly different from the others. The scent, the taste, the texture, the personality. I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the favorites from the non-favorites if that's the case. Well, my favorite balls also have bright rainbow-colored stripes. Now, that's a description I can work with. Shall I bring them here when I find them? Yes, please. Just put them in the hole in front of me and I can guard them properly. Sure thing, big potato. The best little potato. That's adorable. Can I nap in here? I can't nap in the doghouse. You know, I think that's a good spot. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.